I served in the Navy as a Navy wave. I worked on uh, the aircraft that had been in combat and had been damaged. Uh, they were brought back to our base and we put new parts on and they went back into combat. This man right here found out about me and, and he, has, he has spent many hours uh, making a, a scrapbook of all my uh, service uh, military time. When I heard about Irene's talk at uh, the uh, Christian Academy in Knoxville, how wonderful it was, I, I wanted her to also speak to uh, my daughter's uh, young Girl Scout troop. I really felt it was important for these young ladies to hear about women like Irene who stepped forward when the country needed them and volunteered to, uh, to help uh, our country in a time of need. And I know that World War II veterans came home and they didn't have their medals because they actually had not been designed or produced at that time. And so I knew she didn't have them. She definitely deserved them because she really earned them. So my Girl Scout troop uh, raised money to purchase her medals for her. This is her American campaign medal for her service in the United States during World War II. This is her World War II victory medal, which says she helped our country win World War II. Uh, this is the American Campaign Medal. Uh, the colors on the ribbon have specific meanings. The blue background that you'll notice here represents the United States. Uh, the central grouping of the red, white, and blue also represents the United States. The red and white represents uh, the Japanese, and the black and white represents Germany. This is the uh, World War II uh, medal and you'll notice the rainbow colors that appear here on either side of the medal. The World War I victory medal, the entire ribbon was this color, this rainbow color. Since this was the Second World War, what they did was take those colors and place them on either side of the ribbon along with the red center, and red generally represents uh, bravery.